Good evening, by the way. No. He doesn't. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. It's go time. Positive mental attitude. And you know this, man! Tattoo culture in China is not without its own prejudice. Over the centuries, tattoos also acquired a criminal connotation. Convicts, military deserters and prostitutes were often tattooed as a permanent reminder of the sins they had committed. These were signs of shame that would stain you forever. When China's organised crime groups, the Triads, emerged in the 18th and 19th centuries, their tattoos acted both as proof of membership of a particular gang and their status as outlaws. When Mao Zedong's Communist Party took power, tattoos were doubly condemned as not only mark of loose morals, but also proof of an unhealthy bourgeois individualism. So this takes me to Zhou Dan Ting, spelled Z-H-U-O, pronounced Zhou. Dan Ting. Now she's an artist in Shanghai and she's ambidextrous as you can see here. So that fascinated me from the get-go for its uniqueness. So after doing a lot of research and seeing some of the art that she was bringing to life, focusing on using just one machine allows the person to create a masterpiece. So I messaged her, we had a little bit of back and forth it was all very last minute to arrange, but in the two day window I had in Shanghai, she said she would be able to fit me in, which was awesome. I love being around creative types in general and especially artists. So afterwards, I felt a little bit like this. Just a little bit, but I felt a lot like this. I really enjoy getting tattooed in countries full of culture. So with maps and all the information I needed, I set off to find a studio. So let's double back from the direction we just came. Wait a minute. No, let's go back in the other direction that I originally started from. So as you can see guys, it's now night time. And I've been walking around for the best part of two hours trying to find a studio. I didn't realize until I got to China that there's no Facebook there, uh, YouTube also issues. A lot of people have VPNs, virtual private networks to overcome that issue. So I initially got the address information for the studio from a mapping program in the UK. I'd gone to the correct tube station. I couldn't find the address. I was getting lots of misinformation from people. Go down this street, go back down a street I'd already come from. And because I couldn't access Joe Dan Ting's website, I had to email a friend in the UK who took screenshots of directions, but unfortunately they didn't help me either. And supported to Google Maps, maybe Google Maps has fucked me again. But I can't can't locate it. Unless you went in the wrong direction, it's according to Google Maps. Found my way back down. Spoke to three people who are English, and just can't find a place basically. I spoke to Chinese people, and they sent me a different directions. The last bloke I spoke to said pretty much 
didn't speak any English but hand directioned me two times left. So I wasn't sure if that was the first place on the left, but it's down there on the left, which it wasn't because it was another street, or whether it was the second one on the left. I've just gone down there and it's fucking there. And I'm starting to get a bit pissed off to be honest, but I'm trying not to let my mood pull me down. Uh, it didn't work out through no fault of my own, so I shouldn't be pissed off myself. And uh, let's try and turn the evening around really. And uh, may as well head back I suppose now. So that was about the size of it guys. I didn't want to let the NMA tape grip take hold. I wanted the PMA to be firmly in place. As the saying goes, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I gave it 100% to try and locate this place. Unfortunately things were stacked against me. I did contact Jo Danting and apologise for the time wasted because she'd gone out of her way to accommodate my needs which was really awesome of her. We've walked up and down the street so many times now, I reckon I should give somebody else directions to go in. So now I'm heading back to a hotel to meet some people and we're going to go out for some food somewhere. Tomorrow's another day and sometimes the universe has a higher design for you. As the following year I got tattooed in the same body area by a monk just north of Bangkok in Thailand. It was a very cool experience. So I guess when it's your time, it's your time. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you've not yet subscribed please do so if you enjoy the content to get notified when new videos drop. To do so hit the bell icon, smack the bell icon, do whatever you want to do to the bell icon as long as it's highlighted. Have an awesome day guys, now and always PMA to the max, enjoy your day, own it, make it yours, do selfless acts, smile, laugh, all that good stuff.